very good morning to all of you children today in this session we will discuss a important chapter of mathematics and this chapter is related to the class 6 and this is the chapter of math first children the name of the chapter is playing with number and it is very important and very interesting chapter so student first of all i want to tell you in this chapter we will discuss some important points like simplification of expression by board mass find factors and multiple of numbers and including these two important topics we will discuss in this chapter the divisibility rule of 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 11 and 11 now student the next topic will be we will discuss here prime factorization of composite number scf and lcm of two or more numbers so these are the important topics which will which was discussed in this chapter clear student so start one by one now here student see the order of operation operations so here we will discuss what are the order of operation means in which way we will discuss the order of applying the multiplication addition subtraction and division so students the order of applying these operations is first division after that multiplication then addition and after that subtraction so if we will discuss here board mass so board mass is a very important rule by which we can solve the calculation with the help of some important points like b so b stand here for brackets o stand here for of of is also a multiplication d stand for here division m stand for multiplication a stand for addition and s stand for subtraction okay students now now see example number 1 and this example include addition multiplication subtraction and addition but here we will solve this question according to the order of operation so as you know that first of all we have to solve the division so we will solve this term and after solving this term we will write here 40 plus 25 minus 28 division by 7 multiplied by 2 plus 9 so it will be 40 plus 25 minus 4 because when we divide 7 to 28 we get 4 multiplied by 2 plus 9 after division we will use multiplication so here we will solve this term 4 into 2 that means 8 so next term will be 40 plus 25 minus 8 plus 9 and after multiplication we will use addition so we write here 40 plus 25 plus 9 minus 8 that means all the addition term will be add and after that we will use subtraction so finally we get 74 minus 8 is equal to 66 clear students now in the same way you can also solve the example number 2 so here we will use first division that means this term so we get here 2 into 72 div divided by 6 plus 28 minus 4 into 5 because of is here and the, the meaning of of is multiplication after that we will use division so it will be 2 into 72 divided by 6 plus 28 minus 20 now it becomes 2 into 12 plus 28 minus 20 because when we divide 72 by 6 we get 12 so finally we get 24 plus 28 minus 20 that means 52 minus 20 because this is the last term and in the last we use subtraction clear students okay so children so these are the example you can easily solve with the help of board mass so this is your homework and you have to solve this example 
क्लियर स्टूडेंट ओके नाउ नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फैक्टर्स एंड मल्टीपल सो हियर वी विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन द मीनिंग ऑफ फैक्टर्स विद एग्जाम्पल एंड आफ्टर दैट द मल्टीपल्स एंड विद एग्जाम्पल सो हियर फर्स्ट इज फैक्टर्स फैक्टर्स ऑफ अ नंबर इज अ नंबर विच डिवाइड्स द दैट नंबर एग्जैक्टली दैट मीन्स इफ वी टेक अ नंबर सेवेंटी टू एंड वी नो दैट सेवेंटी टू इज एग्जैक्टली डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स दैट मीन्स वी कैन से दैट सिक्स इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ सेवेंटी टू इन द सेम वे देर आर नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स ऑफ सेवेंटी टू लाइक वन टू थ्री फोर सिक्स एट नाइन ट्वेल्व एटीन ट्वेंटी फोर थर्टी सिक्स एंड सेवेंटी टू दैट मीन्स दीज आर द नंबर्स विच आर एग्जैक्टली डिविजल बाई सेवेंटी टू तो दीज आर द फैक्टर्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज मल्टीपल्स वॉट इज मल्टीपल अ मल्टीपल ऑफ एनी नेचुरल नंबर इज अ नंबर फॉर्म बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग मल्टीप्लाइंग इट बाय अनदर नेचुरल नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन राइट सेवेंटी टू इज इक्वल टू एटीन इंटू फोर हेयर एटीन एंड फोर आर द फैक्टर ऑफ सेवेंटी टू सो सेवेंटी टू इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ एटीन एंड फोर clear in the same way we can also write here 72 is equal to 8 into 9 that means 8 and 9 are the multiple of 72 because 8 and 9 are the factors of 72 so we can we can write here 72 is a multiple of 8 and 9 clear okay student now we will discuss here the properties of factors and multiple as we know that One divides all the numbers exactly, so we can say that one is a factor of all the numbers. Now, a number is always divisible by the number itself. That means twelve is always. We can write twelve is equal to twelve into one. Seven equals to seven into one. That means every number is divisible by itself. Next property is. A number cannot be divided exactly by any other number which is greater than, which is greater than it. Hence, we can say that every factor of a number is equal to or less than the number itself. Clear? For example, the factor of eight are one, two, four, and eight. Here we see that eight is the greatest number and it is also the greatest factor are Less than or equal to eight. Clear? Since all the factors are always less than the number itself, hence the total number of factors of a given number are always finite. They never will be infinite. The next point is every factor of a number is an exact divisor of the number. For example. The factor of fifteen are one, three, five, and fifteen. Out of these, every factor divided divides fifteen exactly. Now the next point is, as we know that when one is multiplied to any number, the result is always comes the same. That means if we multiply one into three, we get always same number. That means three. One into fourteen is equal to fourteen. Hence, we can say that. Every number is a multiple of itself. So these are the these were the important points which is related to the factors and multiples. Okay, students. Now we discuss an example. Write all the factors of sixty which are less than fifteen. So we can write here sixty is equal to one into sixty. Sixty is equal to five into twelve. In the same way, sixty is equal to two into fifteen. Sixty is equal to three into twenty. So we can write here sixty is equal to six into ten. Sixty is equal to six ten into six. So these are the factors: one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twelve, fifteen, twenty, and thirty. And the last sixty. Clear? Now, student. The next example is write. The first six multiple of eleven. First six multiple of eleven are as follows. Eleven into one is equal to eleven. Eleven into two is equal to twenty-two. 
11 into 3 is equal to 33, 11 into 5 is equal to 55, 11 into 6 is equal to 66. That means the 6 multiple of 11 are 11, 22, 33, 44, 55 and 66. Okay students, now there is an exercise 3.1 and this is your homework and you have to solve the questions of this exercise very carefully because you can easily solve the questions of this exercise by the above description clear student and if you have any problem then you can solve you can ask the questions of this exercise clear student okay so this is your homework now now the next topic is perfect numbers a number is called a perfect number if the sum of all the factors is equal to twice the number. Clear student? Now for example, the factor of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Sum of all the factors of 6 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 is equal to 12. 12 means 2 into 6. So we can write here 6 is equal to 2 into 6. That means the 6 is a perfect number also the factor of 28 are 1 2 4 7 14 and 28 now the sum of the factor of 28 is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 14 plus 28 that means 56 and 56 is 2 times of 28 clear now the next topic is twins number Pair of prime numbers that have a difference of 2 are called twins number, twins primes. For example, 3, 5, 5, 7 and 11, 13. So each number have a difference of 2. So we can say that they are a prime number but have a difference too. That's why we can say that these are a twins prime number. Now the next topic is prime triplets. A group of 3 successive prime numbers differing by 2 is called a prime triplet clear the only prime triplets is 3 5 and 7 because the difference is 2 in between two numbers now the exercise is 3.2 and student this is your also homework and you have to solve the questions of this exercise so questions are very simple and you can easily solve the questions of this exercise clear students this is your homework now the next topic is test for divisibility of numbers so here we will discuss the divisibility of some numbers one by one first is divisibility by two so a number having two four six eight or zero at its own place is always divisible by two clear students so this is the divisibility rule of two now we will discuss here the divisibility by 3. Let us find the sum of digits of 2, 67. So we get 2 plus 6 plus 7 is equal to 15 and 15 is divisible by 3. That means the divisibility rule of 3 is a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digit is divisible by 3. Clear? For example, the number is 1881. And it is divisible by 3 because the sum of the digit is 1 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1. That means 18. And 18 is divisible by 3. Clear? Okay. Now, the divisibility by 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the number formed by its tens and ones digit is divisible by 4. Or the number ends with two zeros. So, this is a very simple rule for divisibility of 4 for example 5 to 4 here the number formed by tens and ones digit is 24 and we know that 24 is divisible by 4 that means the number is also divisible by 4 clear in the same way 4 28 5 36 9 hundred twelve 4 52 1296 33 3 and these are the numbers which are divisible by 4 now students we will discuss here divisibility rule by 5 so 
सी सम एग्जाम्पल फाइव फोर्टी फाइव नाइन फोर्टी वन एट हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव फाइव एट वन जीरो एसेट्रा सो अ नंबर हैविंग जीरो और फाइव एट इट्स वन प्लेस इज ऑलवेज बिल बाई फाइव एंड इफ नंबर डोंट हैव जीरो और फाइव इट्स वन प्लेस दे आर नॉट डिविजल बाई फाइव तो दिस इज द डिविजिलिटी रूल ऑफ फाइव Now we will discuss here divisibility rule of six. So a number is divisible by six if its divisibility is follow two and three both. That means if any number is divisible by three as well as two, then the number is also divisible by six. Clear? For example, three hundred twelve is divisible by two as it is having two at its ones place and it is also divisible by 3 because the sum of the digit is divisible by 3 that means this number is also divisible by 6 now discuss the divisibility rule of 8 a number divisible by 8 if the number found by its hundreds tens and ones digit is divisible by 8 or it have three zeros in the last so this number can be divisible by 8 for example 78160 here the number Found by its hundred, tens, and ones digit is one sixty, and one sixty is divisible by eight. That means the whole number is also divisible by eight. Now, children, we will discuss here divisibility rule of nine. A number is divisible by nine if the sum of its digit is divisible by nine. For example, three hundred twenty-four. Here, the sum of the digit is three plus two plus four is equal to nine, and nine is divisible by nine. That means the whole number is divisible by Nine, clear children. I think you all understand the rules of the divisibility. Now the divisibility by ten is if any number have zero in the last, then the number is also divisible by then the number is also divisible by ten. Now the divisibility rule of eleven. So a number is divisible by eleven if the difference between the sum of the digits at odd places and the sum of the digits at even places is either zero or multiple of eleven. So, see example in one five nine five, the sum of the digits at odd places is one plus nine is equal to ten, and the sum of the digits at even places is five plus five is equal to ten. Now, the difference ten minus ten is equal to zero. And zero is divisible by all numbers. That means this is also divisible by eleven. Clear? In the same way, the next example is six two zero nine five. The sum of the digits at the odd places is six plus zero plus five is equal to eleven. And the sum of the digits at even places is two plus nine is equal to eleven. Now the difference is eleven minus eleven equals to zero. Hence, six two zero nine five is also divisible by eleven. Clear, students? so in this lecture we will discuss divisibility rules factors multiples so this topic is very important student so you have to solve the exercise of this chapter and you have to revise all the important points like divisibility rules and factors and multiples because without knowing the knowledge of uh, this you cannot easily understand the chapter okay students thank you very much